Alright, hey there everybody, Kirby1917 here, and welcome back for more of Donkey Kong Country 3 Double Trouble. Now, uh, I tried doing the trading quest with all the bears and the stuff, and it's not really worth a lot. You just get some more banana birds for it, you know, the kind that you get in the caves. But, uh, it doesn't really give you a whole lot of stuff, and that's not the way to open up the uh, secret world. I'm pretty sure it's about, like, getting all the bonus coins or something. Anyway, so, I don't know if I'll be doing the bonus, I don't know if I'll be doing the trading quest or not, because I already tried recording it, and it just came out to be way too boring for me to even post. Like, I'm being boring right now. So, it wasn't very entertaining, so let's go ahead and do something that is entertaining, which is, oh, well, we gotta get up here first, Chaos Core, the final world of the game. I think. Well, if you don't count the Lost World, then it is. So we saw off here in the water, even though we obviously just got off our boat. This is that. We go up here and we go to the first level, which is Conveyor Rope Class, and obviously we're trying to get to that giant, uh, castle in the, uh, up there. So let's go ahead and go. Ooh, I like this place. Got some bootleg uh, Saddle the Hedgehog time rolling around. It's always pretty cool. And it looks like we got ropes. We got lots and lots of ropes. Now, admittingly, I will admit this, because, you know, might as well. I've already played through this level once. I was just testing my recording stuff, and I've already went ahead and did this level. But not to fear, not to fear. Because now, since I've already done it, I can get through it pretty fast. And you won't have to worry about me uh, failing so much. Basically, the secret to this level is, of course, we got all these conveyor belt ropes. And, of course, the secret is... What they want you to do is, uh, expertly timed jumps. You know, they think you're a, you'd be a pro at this point. And, you know, it's... Hey, hold on a second. What's this? Oh. Oh, well, hold on. This looks suspicious. Alright. Go up. Ah, bear coin, even though I don't need any more. You really only need 50 bear coins. It's just for the, uh... Why am I using the baby? Ugh. You only need 50 bear coins to get that mirror, and that's pretty much about it. That's... Unless there's another use for bear coins, you pretty much only need 50 of them. But anyway, like I was trying to say before, is the only way the way to get through this level is supposed to be you're supposed to be uh, expertly timed jumps and everything, because you're supposed to be an expert at this point. But uh, nah, I'm not gonna do this. with Dixie, you can just kind of bypass pretty much every challenge that they throw at you. Because when I say that Dixie is, breaks this level, uh, Dixie breaks this level. And I almost got hit there. So that would have been a real joy to say, Oh, Dixie breaks the level, and then I get hit like five seconds later. Uh, but luckily there's a DK barrel right there in case I messed up. So, uh, another thing that's kind of hard is to see which way the direction of the rope is moving. Uh, it's, it's easy to tell if you're standing still, but when you're moving, it's kind of hard to, uh... to judge which way it's going. Alright. That bee messed me up last time, because it kind of appeared out of nowhere. Like all enemies like to do in this game. Alright. Just patience right here. And here you go. There's the end. Not too bad for a first level. Oh, hold on, yeah, let's go ahead and get this DK guy. DK guy, whatever. There we go. Wasn't bad at all. Yeah, not too, not too bad of a level to uh, start off with. Of course, Dixie really breaks that level, so if you can keep her without the entire thing, it's uh, pretty cool. Um, here you have Baffles Code Room. Let's go in and check that out. Hey, hi there, Kongs. How are you doing? My name is Baffle, the Master of Code. Huh, Baffle. 
I've got a problem at the moment. I can't break a code I've been working on. Maybe I should reflect on it. Hmm. Does he need a mirror? Hold on a second. Does he need a mirror? Hmm. You know what? Super speed! Go! Let's go ahead and buy that mirror real quick. Because he said he needs to reflect on it, so maybe I need to give him the mirror. Uh, is that a mirror? Yes, it is. It's Cranky's great-grandfather's. 50 coins? Yes. Alright. So we go ahead and got that mirror, which is pretty much the only reason why you need bear coins in this game. Let's go ahead and fast forward our way to victory over here. And, uh, go back and see if that mirror will help out that guy. Let us see. Alright. Hey, Baffle, you, you need this mirror, dude? You need this mirror? Is that a mirror you got there? Huh. It is a mirror I have here. Can I have it? Uh... It's a picture frame? What the heck? No, it's not a picture frame. No problem. Here you go. It was a riddle written backwards. It says to open the gate at the stone that make eight. What do you reckon that means? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what that means. But you're supposed to get that mirror to, uh... The guy who thinks his who thinks his cabin is messy, so I don't know how you're supposed to get it back or whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and do creepy caverns. I mean, God, creepy caverns. Can't even pronounce it right. Ooh, creepy. We got muscular guys in here. Let's have uh, the baby guy lead the way. Ooh, look at this! Oh my God, it's so creepy. We got ghost barrels up here. That's kind of odd how they're just introducing so many new stuff for the final world. Um, yeah, it's like, you think they would have used this more in a game? Aww, missed it. There we go. But yeah, they're just introducing all top of new stuff here. Oh no! Oh dang it. Oh, I gotta dodge these guys, I don't think Dixie has any way of getting rid of, getting rid of them. Oh, crud. I just keep jumping the gun. I just keep jumping the gun. Oh, what? There's no way. I had that. There we go. So yeah, sometimes those... Oh! Those ghost barrels can help you, and sometimes they'll kill you, like here. Very good example of that. Um... Up. Got the O. Very nice. 